everybody! <laughs> Welcome to another one of Chris's Beer Reviews. I got my brother, Lucas Davies, here coming back for like around four or five or something like that. I think it's more than that, actually. Yeah, we got a lot. And this guy's got a story to tell you. Well, not a whole story, but a little bit. Uh, basically, before you get into it, the whole point... No, nah, fuck you, tell it. <laughs> Long story put short. We went to uh, Amsterdam about three weeks ago. Not and, me. Uh, France. And this was me and our other brother, Marcus and Curtis. And I asked him what he wanted for a souvenir. He said, get me some cool original beers. Do some good beer reviews. So we picked this guy up at a local pub in Amsterdam. Oh, yeah. I don't know how you pronounce it. I think it's called McChauf or McChofe or McChauf yeah. or Chaufey. But um, I asked him, and he said this was from Belgium, and he didn't think that it shipped out too far, so I figured he won't be finding this anywhere. Yeah, no, it's, uh, I really like how the guy on the front is kind of like a cross between a leprechaun and, like, one of Snow White's dwarves. <laughs> but uh, aside from that, the little cap here shows that it does say from Belgium, and it's got the same bent-over dude. Uh, now that I can read brewery in other languages, I know that brasserie means brewery, so this is the De Achof, De Achofe Brewery. Uh, that's the best that I can give you. The 33CL means 330 milliliters, and it's 8% ABV. And if I'm not mistaken, there's no English on the back. No, there is zero English, so, so that's all you're going to get. Blah. <laughs> so sad. Since uh, this is my favorite glass, I decided to allow Lucas oh, to have beautiful, a <laughs> tulip glass, and I got a typical <coughs> Pilsner glass. Okay, now we're going to get to the dirty. It's awesome, because I thought you were going to review this on your own, so nope. it's cool that I actually get to try some. I waited for you. Thanks, man. Oh, no, it's going to do what I didn't want it to do. Uh, no. Ah, whatever. <laughs> It didn't do bad at all. Look at that. That's it. <laughs> I have no idea what this is going to taste like. We, I don't even think we know what kind of beer it is. It looks very, very dark. I can't say very dark. It looks very, very brown. <laughs> hey, that one looks... Look, look, look at the color difference. That's one part of the beer versus the other kind of the beer. You got, this one's light and this one's dark. So... We're going to have two different tastes here. Yeah, totally. Um, Mine's going to be more of a settled. I'm going to pour the rest in because yeah, I'm going to have no, more blackness. No. For sure. You see right at the top. It's almost like we should have mixed it a bit. Eh. Oh, well, we're a little bit more even now. Ooh. It smells uh, very sweet. Very yeah. sugary. It smells like uh, like a Trappist. Like a Chimay. It smells it's like you got a very aggressive smell to it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely, yeah, I can't say definitely, but you do smell some form of a strong alcohol content in there. Not not too strong, though. No. Well, I got a feeling this is going to be very good or very bad. I'll bring mine up. We have an off-white head, as you can see here. It's not quite white. It's not quite brown. Uh, and I don't know. I, I don't want to say that we have a mahogany beer because there's, like, no red tingency in there, but... It's a very, very, like, sandy, dirty-looking dark brown. That's totally, totally like, yeah. the best description I guess I could give. Uh, so, cheers to beers! So this one was from where again? This is from a pub in Amsterdam. Okay, Amsterdam. Great. I'm really happy that we didn't make this too cold, because... If this is made anywhere near as close to like a Chimay, it's supposed to taste better at room temperature. That, I really like that. Very Not bad. smooth. Kind of like Chimay though, right? Very much so. Very I'd much. say I'd say it's kind of like the blue Chimay. It's got like it's totally smooth going down with that bit of bitter aftertaste. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. And we got lace. Check it out. Someone knows how to tie their laces. Now, a lot of people don't know about this, but you can see it very clearly oh, with very yours. 
I don't know if uh, someone ever told you this, but we actually went to the Heineken Brewery experience, as you can see by my wristband right there. And they taught us that you see the distance in between. Um, it's not too apparent. But it's actually your sips, and you can see yeah. it in the lace going down. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, and I didn't realize that. And you, if you pay attention, you can see just how much someone takes with each gulp. Yep. I noticed that, but <sighs> the reason why I don't say it too often is because it doesn't happen with all the beer. No, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely if, right. If a beer has good lace, then it'll happen every time. Uh, the only lace that I hate... Is I don't know if you've ever seen it before, but there's some lagers and th there's some pilsners where when you pour them into a glass, the uh, the, the head, sorry, not the lace, but the head, actually re resembles like the nasty ass foam that you would see like floating at the top of like, I know. the shoreline. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? Exactly. Oh man, I'm like, like I'm gonna yeah. be drinking a fish, man. Yeah. Yeah. This is a lot of times I gotta down them, but I'm actually taking the time to enjoy this guy. Yeah, this one is good. Phenom. Um, well, I'm done mine. No, no, I, no, no. I don't mean like that. I'm, I'm saying I could start thinking about my rating. It didn't seem like uh, we shared different, you know, uh, experiences with the taste. Like you and I, pretty much. No, totally. Like, I can't even talk. <laughs> well, it's just trying to think of the flavors because it's bitter, but it's it's different. It's bittersweet. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. Bittersweet. Bittersweet. Yeah. So, what do you think you'd rate that? Um, I'd probably give it a nice solid three point eight out of five. I was thinking of four point one myself. Yeah. Yeah. And considering you have a lot more brews under your belt. Well, I'm trying to compare it to beers that, like, resemble this. No, totally. And that's why. Totally. Here's um, the problem, is I don't think the average person could find this. No. Um, I could be wrong, but I've never seen this in a... Not in here. North not, America. not in Ontario. Even if we searched it on LCBO, mm -hmm. you would be, bet you can't find it. So it's nice, just because it's almost a one-of-a-kind for us. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, sir. That's it. We'd be done. Thank you uh, for sharing no problem, this wonderful man. beer. We're going to go open up another three. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon, all right? <laughs> Don't drink and drive, but drink responsibly. Cheers. Please. To the Middle East.